Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Roman Kreling and today I want to present you the op count, our newest generation particle counter. The operation of that unit is very easy. Um, it comes with a touch display and also an additional keypad. On the front panel you can also see the printer. So you directly have the use of the instrument as well as the output on the front side. Additionally, you can also connect a PLC or a computer with the communication port. There you see also the power supply connection and the button to turn on the unit. When you look on the back side of the unit, you see the inlet and outlet for high pressure and low pressure connection, as well as a toolbox for the accessories. So the unit comes directly ready for use with all accessories and they can be stored directly at the unit. As accessories you see also the bottles, one time the waste container and also the sample bottle. To demonstrate you the operation of the unit I want to connect the hoses for a bottle sample, what in our regard is a low pressure measurement. To do so um, we choose to connect the bottle sample to the inlet port where the sample volume will be pumped with the internal pump of the unit. To return, we just use the output, that's the high pressure port, and connect it to the waste container. If you do a high pressure sample, you just reverse the two means you take the sample in line from the high pressure line and use that one as the return line to the waste container. But let's just demonstrate how a sample is done. First of all we start the unit by pushing the on-off button and after a very short time it is ready for operation. You see the start screen and on the start screen you see directly the concentration and also the measurement in particles and the standard that is chosen. We select by pushing directly on the button, so it's directly able or possible to select an option by pushing at the point where the parameter is shown. The now selected particle uh, class or standard that we are showing um, is the ISO standard and that's the one we want also to demonstrate. To select the language of choice you just push the help button and then you can alter the currently used language. We have it in German now, but we want to choose English. So we push the buttons till we have the English language. Then you confirm English. You see the menu language is changing directly according to your selection. You just confirm that with OK. And afterwards you get the unit in English language. Now let's proceed to the sampling of an oil sample. First of all, we want to select a profile after which the sample is performed. But we do not only like to select it, we also like to change some settings. And to do so, we first of all enter the administrator password to set the administrator level. That is intended to protect current settings from misuse or misoperation. The standard password is given in the manual and we just put that in and then afterwards you have full access to the settings as well as to the administrator level. So we confirm that with OK and now we go back to the profile settings and then we can choose the measurement profile. You see these two standard settings, first of all for low pressure and then for high pressure. You get two options now when you want to create a new setting can either copy a already existing profile or use standard default data. In our case we want to use the already existing standard low pressure profile as a standard or as a profile base and from that on we just choose first in that screen how the results should be saved. Here the results are saved in particles, so particle concentration. You can also choose as a standard ISO or you select none and then there will be no data saved on the internal memory. Also it is possible for that profile to select a name so that you can distinguish between the created profiles afterwards. The 
text that is given on top is just the auto text with a time and date stamp and now we just erase that one and after we erase it we put in test to name that test profile just for our demonstration purpose. Now we got the test profile and want to really change how the measurement is performed and uh, if you change the measurement settings you see now that process screen and on that screen we have different parameters that we can change. First of all you see that flow through the measurement and on that flow chart the first step is the flushing time. As we want to use a bottle sample we have to start with a certain flushing time that the hoses are filled with oil. We choose 30 seconds here to be on the safe side. What you also can do is change the pump flow to increase the volume that is used for flushing the hose. We want to change that from 25, what is the standard, to 50 milliliters a minute. That just gives us a clean result then. Then afterwards the pump is turned on for the measurement and you see that there is also something like a transfer time between the flushing time and the sampling itself. We choose here to two seconds to have a clean cut between these two and do not have an interference between the flushing volume or speed and flow and the sampling volume as they are different. That's just something to improve the accuracy of the measurement and can be selected. We get the same time after the pump is stopping, that's after the sampling, where you can choose the volume that is for each sample run. We have 10 milliliters, that's a very good value and keep it. And then afterwards the pump runs for two more seconds to also have a clean cut. As you can see here, you are able to not only have one time a sampling of 10 milliliters, you can have a repetitive one, so you can have multiple samples and out of these multi-samples there will also be created an average in the end. Between these you also can select the pause time to have an easy demonstration. In our case we change from the option manual. Manual would be repeat the measurements until you press a button to stop and we want to select repeats and there we select zero. So now there will be only one time a 10 milliliter measurement sample performed by the unit and then afterwards the unit will stop. If you have repetitive uh, measurements put in here, then they will add on the one time sample run. What means? If you have a one time sample run, you add two repet repetitions, then you have three samples and out of these three sample runs there will be created the average. That's one time measurement and if you want to repeat the complete measurement cycle with flushing and everything else you have repetitive cycles that you can choose here and that's how you can select a measurement profile on your machine according to the standard result that you need. We just confirm our settings now with OK and we confirm the complete measurement profile once again with OK and now it's saved under the selected name test. To return to the measurement menu where we can now start our measurement, um, you press one time OK and we want to select now that a sample is created, so new sample is the button to start a measurement and here you have different things you can choose. First of all you see on top the profile. There is the standard profile, high pressure that's been used the last time but we created a new one. So we choose our new created test profile and now you selected that one. You also can enter a serial number for example of the machine or the application that you're measuring as well as service hours or current oil temperature where the measurement has been taken. Also you have a free space field for comments according to your liking. We keep that open now and just confirm the measurement we start. Another time you are just getting information how the connection should be done. We have done it exactly in that way. So we take low pressure measurement with sampling from the input and low pressure output is our return. That's how we connect it. So now we push the start button to start the measurement. You can directly see how the oil sample from the sample bottle is pumped to the measurement cell in the unit internally. 
And uh, while we selected the 30 seconds flushing time, you see that there is a counter um, counting block backwards. And that's the flushing time marked with the F. And the total time is on the right side. That's flushing time plus pause time plus the measurement time for our sample volume. After the flushing, directly the measurement of the sample volume is starting and you see how the counts in different particle channels are going up. On the right lower side you also see that it is possible to select how the measurement results should be printed out. We choose here to print out the NIST result. So after the measurement directly there will be a print result coming up. And that's what you see directly here. So you got all the measurements, all the results and data directly printed out for your convenience. So now we demonstrated the easy way to operate the unit. As you see, it's straightforward and very easy to use. Very big and good thing is that the unit comes with all necessary accessories just in a complete package in a very robust transport case. And uh, it's very convenient to use the unit as demonstrated. Thank you very much for your interest in our units and if you have any additional questions just consult the manual or contact us directly at Argo Thank you.